Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. So if the background scenery looks a little bit different than my normal dining room shot, we are just about to head out from vacation to come back home and plug back into work. It was an amazing vacation and Roger and I are so grateful that we had this week to spend together and Melissa and Barry, Fresh Bloom and Clothing and her husband, who is my daughter and son-in-law, came for two days and stayed with us in the condo villa Marriott, Orlando, vacation suites, something like that. I was going to film when we first got here, but I just couldn't. I wanted to really give ourselves a chance to relax. Let me open these, these curtains so it's a little bit better lighting. I am standing in the primary bedroom. It is a great place to stay. Uh, Roger owns a timeshare here, and the timeshare has been terrific for him. He loves it. He would never sell it. Marriott, Orlando, um, Cypress Harbor. I think that's what it's called. All right. I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you a little view because you guys always want to know what we're up to and what things look like, what we're eating, all of the things. And after a little tour of the place, we will get on with regular business. All right. Let's turn the camera around. This is the fire pit area right outside our villa where you can barbecue and sit out here in the evenings. People bring food and use the grills. Here are the pickleball courts. These are what the villas look like right in here. Now that's not our villa. Two bedroom, two bath. Melissa and Barry did stay with us. That was great. Am I crossing in front of you? And being a master gardener, I am just in love with all of these gardens. The landscape is gorgeous, totally pristine. Not one speck of garbage. <sighs> people calling out what they need. That man is saying he needs a glass of wine. Bring down the wine. <laughs> Sun is starting to set. We're going over to the clubhouse to eat. Here's the court where we've been playing. We did not film ourselves playing. Maybe we should have. We were pretty good. Yeah, we right? were good. Weren't we good? <laughs> So we are looking forward to playing a little bit at home. Today we did, what did we do today? Ping pong, miniature golf. All right, so we putted one hole. Look at this guy go. Okay, he's pretty fast for a turtle. You should have seen us jump when we came across this guy. He was upside down and then he flipped himself over. Not entirely sure what kind of turtle that is or tortoise. So one of the employees is coming to put him back in the lake or the pond. I wonder how old he is. Just beautiful, but he did scare the heck out of us. Would you stop? <laughs> Roger just hit my leg from behind. What was the third thing? Slept. We slept. Yeah, we took naps. We've been taking a lot of naps. And like I said, we really needed this vacation. It is lovely. Roger has a timeshare here, so we will be visiting. This is my first time here. And usually you're at the Grand Vista in Orlando, right? Yeah. And yep. what do you think of this location? It's, it's, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Are they? Yeah, they're okay. both really nice. So he's had this for a long time and he comes once every four years, but we might come more often. We might, you know, just up our, up our game. All right, we're gonna take you to the clubhouse with us. We might show you what we're eating for dinner, just a light dinner because tomorrow we're flying out early. And coming back home to go back to work, <laughs> which is good, which I'm very grateful to have a job that's not a regular nine to five. I always say that to you guys. If at all you're interested in reselling, there are a lot of perks to it. We could just take a vacation when we wanted, which was great. All right. So this is how we get to the clubhouse. We do go past a couple of pools. I tell you what, the lighting in Florida is really good for YouTube. All right, so this is one of the pools. We swim in this a lot with Melissa and Barry. They are back home. They came in for two days and we had a great visit. We just hung out in the pool for like hours at a time and just talked and ate. Oh, yeah, Roger's gonna show us the fountain. Show us the fountain, honey. One of your favorite features, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's good on your back and shoulders. Yeah. So we just hung out right in there a lot of the time. It was really nice. And this is a sauna. We did not use that. We're not really big on saunas. It was hot, it was hot. super hot. 
Look at this pool. We'll be in here later tonight. Maybe you want to come back to yeah, the pool sure. tonight? Yeah, sure. Look at the palm trees. So pretty. We did go to aquatic water park. That was very fun. Roger was a wild man. <laughs> Went down all the crazy rides. I did a few of them. He actually got an injury. Show your injury, honey. I think it's just a tiny little, <laughs> tiny Look little Look at that. Cut. He got injured. <laughs> We've been in this pool a lot, and we've been in the other one a couple of times. We went to a Polynesian show. I'll include any screenshots so you guys can see that, if you're at all interested. This was funny. One night we were walking with Melissa and Barry, and we all thought this was the perfect shower for Barry because it's like eight feet tall, and he is such a tall man. So he posed under it. I'll include photos of that. They've had all kinds of entertainment. Always lots of hot tubs, and yep, we were in it for a good long while. I think I got pruny fingers. Here are some of the things. They always have these billboards and they show you what kind of food is available and what's going on. You can take scuba lessons in the swimming pool. They even rent mermaid tails. I thought that was very cool. I tried talking Roger into wearing a mermaid tail. He wasn't having any of it. No. <laughs> All right, so this is the dining area. They also have marketplace and a bar right here. And the menu is really good. The other night I had a carnitas bowl, shrimp. Oh, was that last night? With a whole yeah, avocado. Oh yeah. my gosh, it was so good. I was so full. Look at these banana leaves. I feel like I'm in a jungle. So pretty. This man's trying to go to dinner and I'm just <laughs> lallygagging. I'm just gonna go into the bar to quickly show them. I love the interior design of this bar. We haven't spent a lot of time in here because we're not real big bar people, but I wanted to come in here to show you guys how pretty this is. It's a beautiful color. Look at the orange. Isn't that spectacular? You guys know me. I love a brightly colored like print. And I thought this rug was just great. Big TVs. We did watch hockey for a little while. There goes my husband. <laughs> oh, I lost him. I'm never going to eat. <laughs> That's his chair. Look at these lanterns. Are these not spectacular? Again, I love the orange. I think the orange is just so pretty. Roger declared he wants a TV like that at home. Right? You want to put that TV in at home? That's nice. That's nice, he says. Okay, we are not ready to come home. We've been here for a full seven days. One of the best vacations ever. There's another bar over here, I believe. And like I said, you can rent rooms here, I think. Don't quote me on this. I think during May, it's about 270 a night. Now, like I said, Roger has timeshare, so he pays for it all year long. But um, well worth the vacation. Beautiful. So, of course, we didn't have to pay anything to stay here because he owns a uh, timeshare in it. Marriott's to me seem very well worth having a timeshare. And I'm not a big timeshare person. I would never before this buy a timeshare. And I'm not buying one because Roger has one, but just wanted to share all of this with you guys because I have to share everything. All right, mister, let's go get some food and feed that belly. Okay, in typical me fashion, I forgot to film our food. <laughs> Roger got a big pizza, half pepperoni and half grilled chicken, which I stole a slice of. And I got a cheeseburger patty and homemade kettle chips. So good. Pizza is so good here. Not a fancy dinner, but we were going to go out to a fancy dinner. We were like, no, we want, we want to go to the clubhouse. So really good food. Now, I did post on Instagram a few photos. And some of you guys say you live near here or you've been here. And you guys have left really nice comments about the place and I agree. All right, so that's this part of the video. We're gonna go on to another part. I'm probably gonna pull shipping with you guys. Tomorrow we come home and I have a boat load to ship out, which is always nice. But at the same time, it's like very hard to jump back into work when you have a lot going on. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. All right, we are just off the plane. We are stopping at Dollar Tree to see if we can get boxes for all of the hard goods that have sold. This is usually the routine, especially if we have a lot to ship out. Dollar Tree by us is great. Now they don't let us unpack anything, of course, but a lot of times their empty boxes 
are the right size and they're already folded down. So I am on one aisle filling a cart. Roger is on the other aisle. We'll meet up with him in a second. Oh, it's too bad those aren't empty. Those are good sizes. Save so much money from buying boxes. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you, I would talk to the manager and see if they would mind if you popped in once in a while, if you are shipping a lot of items. Okay, we have boxes here, but these all are not unpacked yet. But I wanted to show you what vacation is over looks like for us. We stop at the grocery store, we pick up some convenience foods, and then we are on to Dollar Tree, and then we are home to start the shipping. I think Roger said he has about, mm, I forgot what he said, 60 items or 60 orders. Some of those orders will be for 10 things. I'm just gonna sneak behind you. And I think I have about 40 going out. So we have to get boxes. Now we do have some boxes at home. Can you tell where my husband is? All right. What do we think? Is that good? I went down the other aisles already. I think that's good for now. Okay. All right. We're going to load up the car and then get home and go on to shipping. Just figured I'd give you a view of what it looks like after vacation. So here are the boxes unloaded from the car. We probably have, I'm going to guess about 40. These are small boxes and these are great because they're a little bit thicker and they're very good for shipping out small breakables. I always try to get the thicker ones for breakables. Like see this one, nice and thick. So that way it has half a chance of getting to the location without breaking. All right, so we're just going to leave them in the dining room. Both Roger and I are going to start to ship out. I'm going to pull a few things. I think I have 40, I'm going to say, and I'm just going to keep my cool. I'm going to go downstairs. Now, downstairs, I did move things around a little bit because this week, my goal is to get the clothing that is hanging on the racks folded. I won't be able to do all of it, but there's that thought. When I was on vacation, I try not to think of work too much, but in my mind, I think okay, what's going to make me feel better going forward? One of the things is getting more organized. I love being organized. It makes me feel like I can accomplish anything. And we had a really relaxing vacation. All right, I'm going to get downstairs. I'm going to start to pull shipping. Roger's probably already shipping out. And I will show you what that looks like. Oh, I can hear shipping going on. You must be down here. <laughs> Trying to find something. Oh, did you lose something? Oh, I see you have your numbers started. Roger does use the inventory number system. He uses the last four digits of the eBay uh, item number specific. Now, what is that called? eBay? Yeah, item number, right? Yeah, item number. Yeah, so Roger does it that way. So this now is 8821. 8821, and it should be in. in you go by the last number, right? Yeah, number so one. It be in here somewhere. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, I see you have stuff on the floor. You've started already. Okay. Do you have items upstairs already, too? Yeah, I pulled all my hard goods. Oh, you do? I got to get on it. All right, guys. So this is the side that's normally cleared down the middle. These are the racks I'm hoping to get folded this week, so I separated it out. And things have moved around a little bit just to... Get organized. All right, and this is clothing. We're gonna turn the phone on. We're gonna see what hard goods sold. I'm gonna pull the more interesting things with you. And then when I shut my camera off, I will pull stuff that has to be out tomorrow. So I have items that have to be out right away. And then others, I have a few days. I'm gonna try to get it all out by tomorrow. All right, the first item, the buyer paid $50. It is the Stiff Rabbit Puppet. Now that did sell once before via auction and the buyer didn't pay, so I canceled the order. I don't have time for people that bid on things and then don't pay. So stuffed animals, that's where the puppet's gonna be. It might be in this one right here. Yep, there he is. He is adorable, $50, and I picked him up at, okay, where did I get him? Roots Flea Market, and I don't remember what I paid, to tell you the truth. I think I paid 25 for him. So the first time he sold, I think he went for 71 and that's the buyer that didn't pay, so I just put him on again. There is the Stife button, and he is a puppet, and $50, he's going out the door.
The next two items that I'm going to pull are a single order. They are a vintage brass uh, basket tray and two antique glass framed postcards. So the postcards are going to be on glass. And let's see if we can find them. Here they are here. Here is the first one. Hearty greetings. Look how pretty that is. And here is the second one. Again, I apologize for the lighting. The lighting in my basement, no matter what lights I use, it's never good. So I'm just going to say that. So those are the two items, the first two items of that order. And the next one is a metal, I called it a basket tray. Let me see if I can spot where this is. I'm probably looking right at it. Just off the plane. My mind is still on vacation. Oh, I think I see it. It's way back there. Let's see if I can reach in and get it here it is here so it's just like a metal basket tray you can see a little bit of dust I will just give it a good wipe and for the two items the buyer paid $54.99 plus shipping the next item we're pulling pottery barn teen blue duvet cover ribbon stripe embroidery it's new so for $49 I'm not sure if I picked this up in Pottery Barn itself because I do a lot of retail arbitrage from Pottery Barn. This is all Pottery Barn here and I have some other uh, pieces on the shelf behind me. I think it's going to be in here. These are the duvet covers. I think it's this one here. Do I have this marked? Oh, I recognize the ribbons. Ribbon embroidery, I called this. Beautiful. So this is what I have left of the Pottery Barn duvet covers. This type of packaging, I picked up clearance when Pottery Barn has extraordinary clearance. So I have the Pottery Barn outlet in my outlet center in the Tanger outlets, and I will hit that store hard and come out with two or three cartloads of the duvet covers. Now they don't fly out of the store. I'll have them for a while. But like this purple one, I probably had 24 of these to start with. And I think I have one or two left. Here's one, one, two, three. I have three of them left. This also came in this aqua color, Pottery Barn Dorm. I think I paid a couple of dollars for these. But anyway, I'm not sure where I got this one. Probably from Pottery Barn. And it sold for $49. I only pick them up when I pay a few dollars each. And they're brand new from Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn will just have an overage of stuff. And that's how they get rid of it. They send it to the outlet. And then the outlet... Um, discounts it even deeper. So $49, great sale. Hope I'm not rushing through this too much. I do feel a little bit like under the gun. The next item is the Vintage Green Muscle Shell Storage Container. Here it is here. And the way I knew this was all made out of mussel shells is it said it on the bottom. I always talk about that. I love when items are marked on the bottom so we know exactly what we're talking about. And here it is here, a box. The inside are all capiz shells. I don't know if I say capiz correctly. C-A-P-I-Z. Correct me if I'm not saying it correct because you guys know me. I don't pronounce anything like everybody else does, I make up my own words, and that sold for $18. All right, $59.50 for a Wedgwood England Wellesley teapot. $59.50. Okay, I haven't seen this teapot in a while. I think it's back there. Let's, let's move some teapots around, shall we? Lots of teapots and little creamers. Now, they're not all on this shelf. This is one of my favorites. I love that face. Here's an older one here. This is the one that we're looking for. I'm going to lift this very carefully. So pretty. Now, this one does have a little bit of damage. It's quite old, and it does have some minor chipping on the spout, and I disclosed that in the listing. So that is what it looks like. Let me take off the top so we can look at the bottom. Again, all marked so you know exactly what you're talking about. I love that. Wedgwood made in England. $59.50. I imagine I picked it up in the thrift store for a few dollars. And like I said, I've had that one for a while. 
This next item is from a group of items. I went to a home goods clearance. They cleared out the whole store because they were moving locations and the whole store was like 70% off. Do you guys remember that? That was probably a good two years ago. I heard about it. I went there, I filled carts, and most of that has sold through. But this is a pen or pencil holder, $9.99, so not a really high sale. I think I paid a dollar for these, and it's inventory D. All right, so the Capiz Shells uh, pencil holders are down here. I have a gold triple one left, a white triple. It's kind of pretty. I might want that for myself. And then some singles. We are looking for D. Okay, so that is C. And this one, sometimes I mark them on the bottom with a little sticker, D. So this is the one that has sold. I love things made out of seashells, maybe because I'm from Long Island. We don't have a lot of pretty shells on Long Island, though, I have to say. Our shells are not that pretty. Here it is, $9.99. Do I sound all relaxed? It's not going to last long. A vintage House of Lloyd carved wood uh, serving tray, $24.99. Serving trays are generally over here if they're made out of wood. Or I also have some trays up there, platters and trays on the top shelf. But I think this one is going to be down here. So let's take a look. You know what? I think I'm seeing it right here. All right. I'm going to pull some things down and show you the tray. All right, so here is the tray here. Beautiful winter scene. And this is solid wood. And what did I say it sold for? It sold for $24.99. All right, let's see what else is on this long list. Oh, the two wood mushrooms. Did we know those would sell? Of course we did. Those are gorgeous, $71. I just picked these up right before we went on vacation when I went to the grand opening at Pottstown. So we're going to put this guy here. I put these on auction because mushrooms are just very well loved. Whenever I know that something is going to be well loved, I want to give everybody a chance at buying it. I don't want to do a buy it now when I've shown something in a video and say, okay, the first person gets it. And I try to make it a reasonable price. And then if it gets bid up, you know, that's the buyer's choice. But $71, I imagine I probably started these at 50 or 60. I don't remember to tell you the truth, but $71 they sold for. Okay, the next item went for $227.50, the vintage Limoges um, berry bowls, we call them. So I believe I put the berry bowls over here. I did. Now, both the berry bowls and the butter pats sold. The person who bid on the butter pets has not paid yet. So I, I don't give people a long amount of time, usually a day or two to pay, because my feeling is if you're going to bid on one of my items, it's your responsibility to pay for your purchase, just like any auction house. When you bid on things in an auction house, you're paying right there and then. So I don't want to give somebody a very long amount of time, but I'm going to carefully lift these to the table. Okay, so I brought the berry bowls to the table. So pretty. Gold bows and ribbons with a floral pattern. And here is the marking on the back. We all know Limoges is France. Gorgeous, gorgeous. $227.50. I also sold, I think it was an oblong tray uh, with the same pattern. And we have the butter pats. I don't remember what the butter pats went for. I'm going to have to look that up. But again, that's if the buyer pays. All right, we're going to skip clothing. Sorry for you guys that love clothing. You can always go into my store, Lavender Clothesline, and sort by solds and look at what clothing is selling. Next item is a vintage utensil stoneware crock jar and I usually put that they're organizers $24 they have two birds on them I'm gonna pull our bench up and that should be on this shelf up here here it is here let's boy this shelf is really emptying out I know you guys probably can't see this but this shelf was packed and um, things have been selling really well so I love stoneware pottery crocs all the things and here it is here. And like I said, $24. 
All right, the next is a pair of shoes. Do you guys want to see me pull men's wallaby shoes? They're chukkas, $48. We're going to go on to a vintage wood bird figurine right behind me, $26.11 that went for. That is a very funny price. I'm not quite sure why that price is like that. All right, we have quite a few birds. It might be this guy, but I don't think it is. I have a couple of birds like cranes or um, herons. Oh, I think it's that guy. Let's pull him out. Again, these are all hand carved. So beautiful. Yep, that's him. 2611. Okay. Hallmark ornament. We're going to skip. We're going to do a salt glaze croc hand painted floral utensil jar. $40. And I know where that one is. That is right here. Let's stand up on this little stool and pull this one down I feel like I got this probably a month ago it is signed <laughs> why an artist doesn't spell his name clearly I guess their initials LMB maybe LMB all right so it's not too bad look how beautiful that is is that not stunning so beautiful and it sold for forty dollars all right clothing Jerusalem brass letter holder for $15. I believe that's made out of metal. So we are looking for a brass letter holder that says Jerusalem in different colors. Lots of metal lately. Mm. Okay, I feel like it's going to be somewhere. <laughs> Where is this? Help me out. Am I looking right at this? You know, most times, more times than not, I'm looking right at something and I'm like, oh, it's right in front of my face. But this time I really don't see it. Oh, that's why. It's small. I was expecting it to be almost like a napkin holder size. But here it is here. And um, just lovely. I love stuff like this. I love selling stuff like this. Very easy to ship. And I love that this doesn't go to the landfill. All right, the next item is a Subaru Travel Coffee Mug, $24.99. That should be easy enough to find. Here are the Starbucks and different, different graphic travel mugs. And this is it right here, I believe, Subaru. It's very cool because it has like a dark center. I'm going to call it like a graphite gray. And I remember finding this. I found this in Goodwill Route 30, which I go to a lot, as you guys know. $24.99 for that. All right, more clothing, more clothing. Oh, the ceramic pug dog uh, bookend. $35 he sold for. Is he ceramic? He is ceramic, right? Vintage heavy ceramic pug dog. I wanted to make sure I had the right pug dog. Could I possibly have more than one pug? I could. I especially like this. I think the expression in the face is just everything. He's so good. I don't know what his eyes are made out of. They almost look like they're glass because they're a little translucent looking, which gives him a really realistic look. All right, enough of the pug dog bookend. There he is, $35. Oh, okay, this is just going to go on and on. Um, Kimper, a Kimper Frantz plate, $10, seven inch plate. Where would I have put a Kimper plate? It's either going to be on this shelf right here, but I'm thinking it's with the finer plates, but I'm going to take a quick peek. Kimper, I don't see it. I was pronouncing it Quimper, and I think you guys told me to say it Kimper, Kimpor, one of those. All right. Oh, I think this is it here. Seven inches across. And there is the signature. Q-U-I-M-P-E-R-94. Henri Kimper. <laughs> is that French? I'm not quite sure. All right, so there's that. That sold for $10. The Royal Albert Old Country Roses Round Butter Plate. Could be a cheese plate, too, sold. And did I just say what that went for? $36. And yeah, I have to ship all of this tonight. Won't this be fun? 
aren't you envious of my life? <laughs> Coming right in from vacation, going right into major work. All right, we're going to put that right there. Uh, two carved wood corner shelves, $74.99. I think I just saw them. They are up here. I think these are very cool. And yep, they are hand carved. So I'm going to bring these over here. I found these in, I think, Phoenixville thrift store, which is a good ways from my house. Phoenixville has got to be an hour and 20, an hour and a half. But how cool is that? I have two of them. So that's really great that they sold. Let's bring the other one and take a look at it. Let's slide that one back. Be really careful with everything. All right. If you guys have stayed with me in this video this long, thank you so much. All of the craziness, all of the time. I want to show you guys everything. It's like, look at this. Look at that. Look at our vacation. Look at our food. All right. This is looking really cool. I might end here because uh, a lot of it is clothing and just uninteresting pieces, I'm going to say. So that is what I'm working on tonight, along with probably another 20 items. Thank God for clothing. It's so much easier to ship. And both Roger and I were like, oh, my goodness, we got to stop and get boxes because a lot of what he sold were games and he's gotten into all the crazy hard goods. But how good is this? How can you go to a thrift store and find all of this treasure for basically a couple of dollars a piece and not buy it? It's just ridiculous. But lots of it coming in, lots of it going out. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And just know, nope, I am not a hoarder. I really do buy and sell all of this. This is my life. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. We had a great vacation. Thank you for all of your vacation wishes. Thank you for all of your Mother's Day wishes. I love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, I'm about one hour in, and this is all I have accomplished. And I haven't been fooling around. I've been serious. I've been working. Lots of stuff to ship out. Let's go see how Roger's doing. Let's look at his office. Oh, my gosh. You're Frankenboxing oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> Did your wife not get you a big enough box? Look at it in here. You're like it's a crazy. machine. You're a machine. Look at you. I'm home and this is what you have. Well, I know. Are you still relaxed? <laughs> That's good though. Yeah, that is good. It's, it's a good just, problem to have, right? Yeah. Just, My word. A lot of boxes going out. Yeah. Did you sell the Ducati? No, not yet. Sure. Not yet. Not is that on eBay? Yeah. This is the suitcase, guys, that we picked up at uh, Goodwill before we left. About a week yeah. before we left, yeah. right? I Do you want to go back to Florida with me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time. I had a good I still time. I have 31 left to ship. Oh, my. 31 more to package. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah. I only have about 22 left to go. <laughs> well, we better get going. I know. I had cottage cheese <laughs> and strawberries for dinner. What would you have? Turkey, turkey breast sandwich. Turkey breast sandwich. Actually, two. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you. I gotta weigh this over on your scale. Oh, why on my scale? My leg is up to my leg is up to ten pounds. How many years you've been shipping? I know it's crazy. Really? And yeah. yours only goes to ten pounds. I, I usually ship light stuff. Jeez. All right. I don't even know what this my is. Shoes. All right, let's turn on the scale for you. See where we're at. You gotta wait for it to turn zero. There you go. Ooh. 18 pounds. From the Florida. Florida. Yeah, hey, I should have taken it with me. <laughs> In your suitcase. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>